Okay, this thing doesn't write in point slope form, which is too bad because you can't see that. But we can we can uh, look at that as we go here. Um, the tangent to um, <coughs> y equals x squared at this point is that. If you find the derivative, right, f prime of x is 2x. f prime at the point we're looking at, right, if we want to evaluate it at this point, we need this value here and sub it in. 1, 2 times 1, that gives us 2, right? So that so this value of 2 here, this is the slope. That's the slope of the line. If you want the rest of it, our, our line that we use, you know, our, our, we can use that form of a line if you really want to. What you could do probably in grade 10, you would have taken this slope and you would have subbed it in for this value here. I know in grade 10 you use mx plus b. I think it makes more sense to use ax plus b, but you can do whatever you want. If you, if you want, you can do this and say, okay, well, I know it's 2. And then I can just sub in to find the y-intercept. The way you would have done in grade 10, right? You sub in this point here. You put a 1 in for y and x. There's nothing wrong with doing that if that's what you want to do, but I think I would like you to learn the way of doing it using point-slope form. So we can call this method 1, um, slope-intercept form. I would say method two is method two is a point slope form where you can write it right away. Point slope form is basically thinking if it passed through the origin, once you find the slope is two, a line through the origin is y equals two x. So what you're saying, if we go back to this, um, if I undo it, will I get back to the middle? How much did they move it around? Uh, and the point we were, what was, what were we doing? One, one, did I say? What's wrong with my parabola here? Oh, because I know that is one and one. Getting confused here. It's okay. So if we, uh, let's see if we can do this here. We can put it just a point in a random place here, and we want a line. Do you think I could put a line with a fixed slope through here? Probably not, eh? Let's pause. You can, The whole thing with point-slope form is it's easier after all this <coughs> seven minutes of trying to do this. Point-slope form, but it's, it's helpful to understand what point-slope form is. It's just writing the equation of the line as though it passes through the center and then transforming it, as in shifting it sideways, shifting it up to the point you want it to be, right? Whoa. Okay? Well, y equals 2x is what it is passing through the center, shifting it to the right and shifting it up to that point. People get kind of confused with the formula or with the with the concept here. If it passed through the center, the origin, that's what it would be. If we know it passes through, we want it to pass through that point, we can do y minus 1 equals 2, x minus 1. That's, that's what it is. And if you... I, I think that's easier than doing this. This is some people's tendency because that's what you learned in grade 10 and what you learned first is sometimes what you always resort back to. This you theoretically learn in grade 10, but it just, I don't know, I think grade 10s identify more or relate more to being able to do this because that's the form of the line that you use all the time. This is a this is going to give you the exact same thing if you go through and find it here. You can get y equals 2x minus 1 this way. Or you can get y equals minus uh, 2x minus 1 this way. This leads, this leads you to this. This helps you see where this is coming from. I think if you look at this, you're related to this. If we, if we change this thing around here, this point slope form, if you take this and move it to the other side, I am going to have y equals 2x minus 1 plus 1. Think about what each of those numbers represents. This is our linear approximation here. They use L of x for that, linear approximation. 
L of x is the linear approximation of that function at x equals a. Okay? L of x, um, L of x is the linear approximation. So let's label this here. Okay. This is linear approximation of f at x equals a. Okay? Where did we get these numbers? What was what was this two? <laughs> Nobody knows. I'm about to tell you. What was where did that come from? That is the derivative, but at a certain value, right? That is that is the that is f of a, right? That's f at the value you're talking about. So in this case, it's f at 1, right? It's the slope at 1. It's this. Okay. That is f prime of 1. Thank you very much. <coughs> Should we write it in specific terms here first? Yeah. Okay, so that's the slope at 1. If you're following the highlighted colors, it is yellow. This is... Well, it turned into blue after we evaluated it. That was bad. Yeah, you're two minutes alone with the video. I realize that. It's too late now. Split it later. Split it later, we'll even though it's a big pain. Well, it's just one more step. What? Can we watch this on YouTube? I don't know. It didn't make sense. I'm sorry. Never mind. I don't know. Can you go stop the video? I don't know.